Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are preparing a salicylic acid facial cleansing gel or face wash gel. Here I have listed the ingredients for a 100 gram recipe. The first step is to dissolve the salicylic acid. To do this, we need Zemea propendiol and vegetable glycerin. Take a heat proof mixing bowl. Put the propendiol into the bowl. Propendiol is a natural skin friendly and preservative enhancing alternative to petroleum glycols. It is a natural solvent and viscosity improver. Add the vegetable glycerin. Add the salicylic acid to the propendiol and vegetable glycerin and mix well. After mixing, I put the bowl in a double boiler and heat it on low heat while I stir until the salicylic acid dissolves and becomes transparent. When it dissolves, I remove the bowl from the double boiler and set aside. For the next step, I take a beaker, pour the distilled water into the beaker, add in the preservative and mix. Preservative Echo is a water-soluble, colorless and odorless preservative that provides broad spectrum protection in a wide range of personal care products. It has a pH stability in the range of 3 to 8. Due to the salicylic acid content, it should not be used for products meant for children. After mixing, I add in the diesel glucoside. Diesel glucoside is a non-ionic surfactant suitable for various cosmetic cleansing products. This surfactant is also used in baby care, liquid soaps, shampoos, facial cleansers, body wipes, toothpaste, and shower bath products. I add the betaine and mix as well. Cocamido propyl betaine is a mild and natural surfactant that cleans effectively and is well tolerated by the skin. According to the supplier, it is compatible with all surfactant classes except anionic surfactants at low pH. I now add the salicylic acid mixture and mix well. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid, BHA, a carbon-based organic compound that occurs naturally in willow bark, fruits and vegetables. We now mix the xanthan gum with the second part of the vegetable glycerin. Adding xanthan gum to this recipe will help give the face wash a gel-like consistency. After mixing, add the mixture to the beaker. Make sure to mix while pouring, else you will have lumps in your formulation, which may take longer to dissolve. After mixing in the xanthan gum, I test the pH of the face wash. We need to have a pH of 4. To test the pH, I dip my pH strip into the facial cleanser for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, remove it and see where the pH is at. 4 is perfect. No adjustments are needed. Cover the beaker with the facial cleanser in it and set aside for about 3 hours or until the xanthan gum has completely dissolved. I waited for 3 hours. And after this time frame, this is how the consistency looks like. Now we can pour the salicylic acid facial cleanser into a clean sterilized container. You can wash your face with it in the morning and in the evening. If you have never used salicylic acid before, it is best to start with 1%. Use it for a while and see how your skin reacts to it before increasing the percentage. It is recommended to use a maximum of 2% in a 100 grams formulation. Salicylic acid is best known for its exfoliating and bacterial fighting properties. When it comes to a clear complexion, salicylic acid is an absolute must. It helps remove dead skin cells, improve skin tone and texture. It can also help reduce inflammation and prevent acne breakout. It is an excellent ingredient for cleansing the pores as it exfoliates the skin surface and penetrates the pores to remove oil. 
It is a great ingredient for people with oily and acne prone skin. It is great for treating and preventing whiteheads and blackheads. People who have dry or sensitive skin should be especially careful as salicylic acid can further dry out the skin. I actually prepared two recipes of this salicylic acid face wash, one with xanthan gum and one without. They are both very effective and form well. The only difference is, the one without xanthan gum does not have a gel-like consistency, as you can see in the video. You can leave out xanthan gum if you wish. Your product will be a little watery, but it will not affect the quality of the product. To use the salicylic acid face wash, put a bit in your hand, massage it gently over your face for about 1-2 to two minutes, then rinse it off. Dry your face before applying your face serum and your moisturizer. This should be done twice a day, in the morning and in the evening before going to bed. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it has been helpful to you. Please remember to give it a like, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for your support. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day.